Okay, now I'll have you give this a try. We have a data set here. The mean is not going to come out evenly. So what I want you to do is pause the video and then calculate the standard deviation. And then when you're done, you can play the video and see how you did. Okay, so let's go ahead and give this a try here. Um, my n here is equal to 7, and then my mean, I have to add all these up, and so let's see, 4 plus 10 plus 9 plus 3 plus 8 plus 5 plus 12. Looks like I get 51 divided by 7. and that looks like I get it's gonna round to 7.3 so my mean is 7.3 so now putting this in my formula for the standard deviation this mean goes on top x minus 7.3 squared on the bottom is 7 minus 1 take the square root so now I'm gonna draw my light circle take 7 minus 1 in my head and get 6 and then I'm gonna take the square root of that and so now I'm gonna set up my table so these are the values 4, 10, 9, 3, 8, 5, and 12 Maybe I'll have my calculator handy here. 4 minus 7.3 is negative 3.3, 7 or 10 minus uh, 7.3 is 2.7, and then my 9 minus 7.3 is 1.7. 3 minus I could probably be doing these in my head, but. I just want to make sure I get all the, the right numbers. Negative 4.3. So 8 minus 7.3 is 0 0.7. 5 minus 7.3, 2, negative 2.3. 12 minus 7.3, 4.7. Okay, so remember, these are not going to, since I had to round this, these aren't going to exactly cancel each other out, but it should be close. So let's see what it is. Negative 3.3 .3 plus 2.7 plus 1.7 plus negative 4.3 plus 0.7 plus negative 2.3 plus 4.7. And I get negative 0 0.1, so something really close to 0. So we're on the right track here. And so now I need to square each one of these. So 3.3 .3 squared gives me 10.89. 2.7 squared gives me 7.29. 1.7 squared, 2.89. 4.3 squared 18.49.7 squared 0 0.49 2.3 squared 5.29 4.7 squared 22.09 so now I need to add those up <laughs> So 10.89 plus 7.29 plus 2.89 plus 18.49 plus 0.49 plus 5.29 plus 22.09. And we get... 67.43 and so this number here 
would go into this 67.43 and so oops I'm gonna take uh, 67.43 and then I'm gonna divide that by 6 and then I'm gonna take the square root and I get approximately 3.4 is what I get for my standard deviation. So there you go. Again, the procedure is the same as before. It's just a little more work here. Um, and of course, this doesn't come out to be exactly zero, just close to zero. So there you go. That's calculating mean, median, mode, the range, which is the maximum minus the minimum, and the standard deviation. And this one is by far, you know, the most complicated calculation. But if you follow through these steps, I think uh, you should be able to do this. So this is a nice way of calculating the standard deviation. Also, when you actually do this, by hand and then you realize that Excel can do this with over a thousand values in like two or three seconds it kinda gets you to appreciate what the computer can do so it's pretty amazing so, okay so that this ends our section on uh, these you could call these descriptive measures they're numbers that describe your data set in some way and um, and so we're going to move on then to our final unit in statistics, which is on the normal distribution.